guys, it's Rachel, and today I will be recreating the Starbucks vanilla bean scones, which you can find in all of their pastry cases. I grew up eating these scones rather religiously. I absolutely loved them. I thought they were soft, pillowy, and had the perfect amount of vanilla bean flavor. So when I saw a recipe online for the copycat version of the Starbucks vanilla bean scones, I knew I had to try it at home and compare and see if I could just make these at home instead of buying them at every Starbucks I go to. So this was super simple to make. All I had to do was place the flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt into the bowl of a food processor, blend it up, and then add in one stick of butter cut into pieces. Once the dough started looking like coarse meal, I added in half a cup of heavy whipping cream along with two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You don't want to overmix this recipe, so as soon as the dough comes together in the food processor, take it out and portion it into three flat discs, and then cut each of those discs into about four triangles and those will be your mini scones. We'll bake those off and in the meantime we will get started on the vanilla bean glaze. This is practically the most important part but it's super simple. It's powdered sugar, seeds from vanilla bean paste, and a little bit of milk. Once your glaze is good set that aside until your scones are done and then go ahead and ice them while they're still slightly warm just so they can absorb some of that glaze. I think the glaze is also so beautiful on top of each scone because you can see the flecks of the vanilla bean. And that is it. That's all there is to it to making these beautiful, gorgeous, and tasty vanilla bean scones from Starbucks. But now let's see if they stack up against the original product. We are now comparing vanilla bean scones. This one's from Starbucks and this one is a homemade recipe that I found from a blog online that are for petite copycat Starbucks vanilla bean scones. Let's see which one is better. Appearance wise, I will say that the Starbucks scones are a little bit more petite and smaller. They are more triangular and they're also a little bit yellow, which is interesting. Uh, my own homemade scones are a little bit more brown. I think it's from the vanilla extract and the vanilla bean paste that I used. I do love how both recipes though have beautiful flecks of vanilla bean inside the glaze and inside the vanilla scone itself. I'll go ahead and start with the Starbucks one. Mm. Bringing me back to my childhood right here. This scone is actually not that hard, which I feel like is an issue with a lot of scones where they're dry, brittle, and hard, and they just crumble when you bite into it. This scone is not bad. It's not like the moistest thing, but it's got a beautiful, just lovely vanilla flavor. And you can tell they use real vanilla bean, which is quite impressive for a big chain like Starbucks. I'm really proud of these guys. They turned out beautiful. They also smell really great. I, I love making scones at home and I don't know, I'm pretty proud of my own personal one, so I hope they stack up against the Starbucks one. Mm. I really love my own personal one, just because that glaze is so delicious, and the scone itself is so buttery, and the bottom is still browned, has a little crunch to it, but so delicious overall. The winner here for me is pretty clear. I think my own homemade scones are absolutely delicious. I think they're a little bit more fresh, more buttery, more rich which is what I really resonate with. In fact, I need another bite. Mm, yeah, so good. Mm, 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 mm.